All right, um, it's late. I have been working on the 10,000 subscriber special, and I'm tired. And I literally just recorded a video, played it back. I'm so glad I played it back because I was just about to upload it to YouTube for you guys. So what you're seeing right now, this is my second take. This is like probably a grand total of like 30 minutes after the fact, but I, <laughs> my mic was off. So for about 15 minutes, I was rambling to no one. And I was about to upload a video where I just did this. I was kind of pointing and stuff on the screen with the music playing. Nothing else. That was about to be so embarrassing. Thankfully, I was smart enough to check. Now I gotta do this again. What up, Doe Connors? Welcome back to Toon Rami for... <laughs> whatever. Look, alright, we, we, we got some news, alright? All of these things, starting from right here all the way up uh, to here. Everything was new. All of them, including these three, which makes you wonder why. Why are these things new? I'm going to be brief. This is going to be a lot faster. I'm not going to go the same length. I, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed. So the reason why these three panels are new, they've updated it, is because I believe it's because of the end date. They want to remind people that the event is ending on the 17th. And for each one of these, if you don't use this form of currency, whatever it is, in this case, God Dragonstone 9, it will be rendered obsolete after the event ends. It's not something you can hold on to for the next time or anything like that. These are hard-coded for this specific event, for this specific duration. So go in there, use it, get it done. You can spend it on any one of these units. For this one, you can buy whatever you want from the coin shop. I myself, after all the collectibles that I picked up that I showed you guys in previous videos, I ultimately bought some more incredible, not incredible gems, uh, potential orbs. I also bought whatever there was, like these really good deals, the rainbow silhouette ones. I bought those for the orbs as well. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with my purchases. So I have one coin left over. Unfortunately, that's going to go obsolete, but it doesn't matter. And then the last thing is the purple dragonstone, which is the godstone. No, per premium dragonstone 5. So this is the one that you get from the peel-off scam. You would buy like three, cop three different uh, bundles. Pretty steep price, so it's a scam. And you would get up to three stones. You could buy any combinations of these units or the ones down here. And uh, it was a it was a nice, clever way to get people to spend a little bit more and also give them a free unit here and there that may, they may need instead of having to pray for getting it in like the 55 summon or whatever. So go in, spend this as well. This will also be rendered obsolete after the event ends. Not even the premium Dragonstone 5 will last. So you have until the 17th of August at refresh to do all three of these things. Finish up your five-year stuff, get it out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. Now, 4.11, I wish you guys heard my reaction because I was genuinely ecstatic when I read this because of something crazy. I'm gonna read it again, but I am not nearly as excited because I can't fake it, I'm pissed off. <laughs> I was speaking to nobody for 15 minutes. <sighs> All right, let me just go over this quickly. They've added a little bit more information, basically. As the Link Skill is level up, uh, raised, the Link Skill will receive an effect boost of, uh... Wait, what? Oh, I'm seeing double. <laughs> That's what that was. Alright, I'm getting really sleepy. I need to stop this. As the Link Skill's level is raised, the Link will receive an effect boost or acquire an additional effect. It... My vision doubled, and I read something completely different. I'm very tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Will this video ever release? I don't even know. If this video somehow made it, then, uh great. I don't know what other dumb stuff I've said. I'm sorry. A link skill level has a certain chance of being raised after you win a battle. So, this is basically what we were talking about. Nolars mentioned it. Truths mentioned it. The lower level you are, the easier it is to level up, because the chances will be higher. The higher level you are, like level 9 going to level 10, the chances will be lower. If you want a full explanation on how this stuff works, I made an in-depth video on link skills and this whole update coming to global. I will provide a link in the description, I hope. And, uh, yeah, so then as we scroll down here, they also mention you can hold down on the character now and you can check out their links up above. You can do the same thing for the enemy as well. You can check out all of their stats, all their buffs, as well as the nerfs that you've done to them. So that's going to be very useful. And the last thing, this is the thing I'm most excited about in this entire video. This is the thing. But I couldn't really, I, I, I can't channel that again. I'm too sleepy. Normally I'm a good actor and I could fake it, but I just, I'm too tired and I'm too frustrated. I'm pretty sure they are adding the thing that I've wanted the most, and that is cross-referencing. So I'm going to do this example again. 
The options full match and partial match will become available when you intend to filter characters by category. So the category example that I had used was this one. If you're trying to find LR Gohan, you know that he's Kamehameha. You also know that he's youth. So what you would do ideally is click on youth and then click on Kamehameha. And there should be a button here or something that you should press to cross-reference. And when you do, you would not get this long list of units that fit in Kamehameha and also fit in youth separately. No, you would have the option to intersect the two categories and only narrow it down to the units that actually have both categories on their build. So you would find Gohan very easily. This is a very crucial thing that I've been wanting for so long. It would enhance team building. It would make life a lot easier for a lot of people. Earlier in the week, I did a stream where I had to bring three world tournament units and three youth category units on the same team for an added challenge because the, the two missions were separate but I wanted to add the challenge on by piling them in together. And the best way to do that is to try to save a couple units here and there. And fortunately, there were a couple units that had both categories. The problem was, if you didn't know that, you would have basically have had to rely on somebody to tell you. Now you don't have to do that because Pan is a world tournament and a youth character. We also have the LR, where'd they go? LR Goten and Trunks, world tournament and youth unit. Very useful. Having these two on the same team made me it, it, it gave me two free spots to bring in gogeta and vegeto and i won i beat that event i'm gonna probably post a recap at some point so this is a huge awesome update i really hope it's exactly what i'm thinking where there'll just be an extra button somewhere here where you can do that that would be very 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 useful that's probably the most in-depth i'm gonna go on this as far as repeating myself because I, I i sounded so good i sounded so good man i i wish you could have <laughs> that sounded really good, but man, right now I'm just grumpy and I'm sleepy. So stay tuned for more updates on the 4.11. It's probably going to happen maybe when the 350 million starts. And uh, we're getting a legendary campaign for the LR Hercule and Boo. This is the Friend Summon LR unit. Legendary campaign coming for this guy. If you had this unit maxed out, you would get 10 Dragon Stones uh, when the campaign begins. And then there will be a whole bunch of other good stuff, probably some orbs and whatnot. This is going to be something that I, <laughs> it, it's it's really going to test the uh, the patience of a lot of a lot of players because there's a pretty sizable demographic of new Dokoners in here and they're probably already experiencing the hardship of buying these Hercule medals. These things were really expensive and I remember doing this when I started. I had to spend three what is it three million, whatever it is three million zenny per day buying this stuff. It costs you ninety medals to LR one Hercule. So if you wanted to do that twice over, you would have had to spend two months, literally 60 days, buying three medals each. That's crazy. So even I didn't do that because at the time, not because I wouldn't have done it. If I knew, I would have done it. But when I started Dokkan, I was doing this and I thought, okay, after you get him to SA10, you have to use Kai's. That it's impossible to do otherwise. So anyway, uh, the campaign is happening. So if you guys haven't done this, you have until now, until the 17th or the 20th. No, I think it's the 20th to amass all the medals you can. Spoiler alert, you won't get enough because until the set, the 20th, that's six days. So you'll get 18 medals. That's not gonna cut it. So if you have not started, well, you might as well keep going because they will give you some uh, little changes here to make it easier. So let me see, uh, what is it that they said? You will not be able to attain additional awards. During the campaign period, you can exchange for the awakening medal, which is required for Dokkan Awakening five times per day in the Bob Shop. Oh! Wait, exchange, okay, no, I think this just means you, I'm reading this differently now, I didn't read this before the same way. Either this means you can buy up to five of those medals I just showed you, the belts, or there's a way to exchange without spending zenny. I think it's just the wording that's confusing me because I'm just so sleepy right now, but I'm pretty sure instead of buying three, you can now buy five. So if you want to get this done, it'll take you 18 days to get 90 medals instead of 30. So it'll take you 36 to do it instead of 60 to get the fully free-to-play Awakened version. And you know what? I'm calling it. Because of this, we are getting a new friend summon LR during the 350 minutes. I'm just, I'm calling it. If you didn't understand what I just said, it's because I totally slurred my words. I am very sleepy. 350 million download celebration will give us a friend summon LR. Book it. I'm calling it. This campaign seals it for me. And last but not least, first place achieved on Global. We got top grossing Luxembourg. No France. Big shocker, but Luxembourg still coming through, which is awesome. 
I already picked up my rewards because I recorded this video once before. I am annoyed and I am sleepy. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. And let me know in the comments. I don't even know. What was my question the last time? Let me know in the comments if you care about this Hercule and LR Boo thing. I myself am very excited because it's free and I've already maxed them out. But if you haven't done it yet, does this incentivize you doing this? Because you're going to get 10 Dragon Stones and then a bunch of other like tiny rewards. But is it really worth it to you? Let me know your thoughts on this whole LR situation in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And <sighs> click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Man, I am just, I am dead. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Stay tuned, and always remember to dokkan responsibly. Go to sleep. <laughs>